right, my friend, we are on method or strategy number two of the generating five to 15 leads per day all summer long for your solar business, really any season this works. But here's the deal. I hate to say this one, but it's super, super important. And I'm sure you know this, you might already be doing this and you might not, or maybe you're doing it a little bit. You know, you probably should be doing more of it and it's knocking on doors. Look, if you can do this consistently on top of using online marketing, you're going to create a, a long-term profitable, thriving solar business, but most people don't stay consistent with this, right? That's why a lot of solar consultants will come and go. That's why any door-to-door -door salesman will typically come and go. There's a lot of rejection. There's a lot of work. There's a lot of grit. There's a lot of time that it takes, but it's very effective. So anyways, here's what I'll tell you. If your company supplies training, you know, knocking on doors, or you have a mentor or someone that's kind of coaching you, go ask them about this because if they've been doing it for years, they know techniques. Now I'm gonna share some techniques with you that I know work from when I was knocking doors, not specifically for solar, but just in general. And these are tactics that you can use. And these are also things that I'm bringing to you after I've worked with and have and currently work with top solar consultants who traditionally knock on doors and they have no problem with it, but they wanna take their game online. They wanna generate leads online. So I'll ask them, hey, what's worked for you in the field? Because we're all about supplying training for, for the average person, especially someone just getting started. So anyways, a couple things that I wanna share with you. Number one, um, knocking on doors, I think the most important thing is dealing with the rejection and being able to go to that next door once that one was slammed on you or you know you fumbled with the call or fumbled with the uh, with the pitch, et cetera, as you just get started. Of course, you get better and better as you go, but dealing with rejection is big. So I actually heard one guy, what he does is he has a picture of his daughter in his wallet. And so if he ever gets rejected or the door is slammed on him, he'll look at that picture and that will fuel him to get to that next door. I thought that was so cool because if you have your why, you know, like on you somehow, you can look at that and that will help you get through those moments because you know if you go out and you knock doors and you're on the third or fourth one and you quit after that, you know, you're not getting results that day, at least offline you're not. But if you can just keep moving and you know your numbers, which is the second thing that I want to talk about. If you know your numbers, if you know for every 10 doors you knock, three of which you know you set up an appointment with or whatever your end goal is based on the way your company works right being able to know your numbers is crucial because you know look if you want to go get you know five installs and you start doing ratios all right for every you know 10 appointments i said i have one to two successful installs or whatever you start to know your numbers you can start to know how many doors do you need to go knock on a daily weekly monthly basis to hit those goals if you know you need your commission check to be $10,000 a month or whatever it is, start doing numbers. All right, so out of X amount of doors I knock, I set this many appointments, of which I get this many successful installs, of which leaves me a commission of this. So then you work backwards and you know. So knowing your numbers is absolutely huge. Another thing, if someone doesn't answer the door, and I've heard you know a couple different people um, will use different things here, but. Personally, what I've heard some top reps do is they always make sure they leave some literature behind, but they make it creative. They'll add a little handwritten note on like a flyer or something where it says, hey, I think I could save you about 30% or 10% or 40% or 100% or whatever it is on your bill. Here's my number. Feel free to text me. We'd love to just answer questions for you. Things like that. So you don't just leave a print material and hope that they reach out. Add a little personalized touch to them. A post-it right on there is great. So that's another one. Um, if you're talking to someone, of course, go as far as you can when you're knocking on that door and you have their attention as far as figuring out what their estimated savings would be, et cetera, but then set an appointment. Book a meeting from a meeting. I love that saying, it's bam, fam, or fam, bam, either way. From a meeting, book a meeting, or book a meeting from a meeting. So if you're talking to someone and you know that you need to be, you know, you need to set another time or they're running time, you know, short on time, set an appointment to get back in there and say, when would be best for me to come back and sit down with you for 10, 20 minutes or do a call or whatever it is and make sure you get their contact info and you get a strong commitment on that meeting or that appointment that you're setting. That way you, you lessen the chance of them obviously ditching on the appointment. Um, we talked about know your why. Oh, answer questions. Make sure you have knowledge. Look, you're gonna get better at this as you start and you watching this video right now might say, I know everything about solar. Well then perfect. Just be able to understand questions on the fly and, and you know this and if you don't, I'll share it. But uh, especially in the solar industry, people wanna know numbers, right? Like, all right, great, yeah, yeah, I, I like that it's good for the environment and that's important to a lot of people, no doubt. And it's always a perk, right? But 
A lot of people are very receptive or want to know, well, how much is it going to save me? I mean, legitimately, how much is it going to save me? This is my current bill. What is it going to go to? The quicker you can get to that answer, the better. All right. So that's really, really important to know that and understand that and rehearse that a little bit. And then the last thing, and I love this one, and this goes for any door to door salesman, but it works especially well for solar. Ask for referrals. Here's the way I like to end, you know, specific door knocking calls. I'll say, so, hey, you know, do you know some of the neighbors around here? Oh, yeah, yeah, I know them and them, them. Well, does anyone come to mind that you think might be interested in solar? Oh, well, you know, go talk to my buddy John over there. Uh, actually, a couple weeks ago, we were talking about it. Or, hey, my buddy John over there, younger guy, I think he'd be open, super nice. But now you can go to, or I in this case, right, could go to John's house and say, hey, Bobby down the street actually wanted or told me that I should come, you know, give you a, a, a shout or knock on your door and tell you about this because you may be open. So immediately now the friend is not only impressed because Johnny, his friend referred him or he's really angry, right? But typically it works this way where, you know, Johnny says, oh, okay, you know, Bobby, uh, Bobby referred you over here. So one, he feels good that, that Bobby thought of him. Number two, there's an immediate trust between you because you have a mutual friend and now he's actually listening. So opening up your pitch and going into it as a referral is really, really big to at least have a conversation because we know when you're knocking on doors, there's sometimes some resistance from people. You can really lessen that when you go into it saying something along the lines of, hey, so-and-so referred me. Now, don't lie. Legitimately ask this. And the person you were just talking to, so Bobby in this scenario, you asked for the referral. If they're referring, what does it mean? They know, like, trust and respect you, which means that you're going to have a better chance of getting an install on their home. So with that being said, implement these techniques. Watch this video again if you need it. Be sure to share this with, with other people within your solar organization. And we'll see you on the next proven strategy of generate five to 15 leads per day for your solar business all summer long, all seasons long. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.